today. Meteorologist yeah. Reese Cole joins us now with checking the forecast. Reese, it was great. One of the longest days yeah. of the year. That sunrise was just before 6:04. Sunset 9:25. Still seeing our twilight here. Uh, civil twilight ends uh, just after about 10:35 or so. So we got about eight to ten minutes more uh, to enjoy a little bit more color here in the horizon. Here's uh, uh, Stanton, Montcalm County, out in the horizon. Beautiful colors. Notice to the south, though, a lot more dark skies, and off to the west and northwest, a lot more of the beautiful colors mixing in. We'll see this for a couple more nights just after 10 o'clock, but we're already starting slowly but surely, although just a few seconds at a time now, starting to see shorter days. Uh, here's a look at temperatures, 75 Grand Rapids, 60s from Fremont down along the lake shore, as well as near the I-94 and Indiana border. Notice the upper 70s out to the east. They were near 90 degrees here this afternoon. One thing to notice too, though, we are having a weak cold front move through those dew points from the upper 40s near 50 degrees in Mount Pleasant, Big Rapids, as well as in Grand Rapids, but mid 50s near I-94 and still along the lakeshore with a light westerly wind. Uh, those dew points nearing the 60 degree mark. We're going to get drier as we go into tomorrow. The main system has moved well off to the south and east, and now there's this huge dry sector right here from uh, basically from North Dakota all the way out to the Great Lakes region and into northern Ohio and northern Indiana as well. So we're right in the heart of this. It's going to last for the next 36 hours or so before the next wave of moisture starts to filter in. Notice no cloud cover really overhead. Beautiful for tonight, tomorrow and into the start of our Friday as well. Here's a look at future track. Not going to be seeing much tonight into tomorrow uh, by daybreak. Maybe a few passing clouds well south of I-94, but most of us are going to be seeing nothing but sunshine tomorrow afternoon and into Friday as well. But early Friday morning, some clouds will start to stream in. Notice it's picking up a little bit of moisture, but I think most of this is going to be elevated moisture, so most of us will remain dry, and that'll fizzle out as it moves into West Michigan as well anyway. So it'll be north of I-10 if you are to see a drop. Otherwise, going into Saturday, that's when we're tracking the moisture. The humidity will arrive from this Friday afternoon and evening. That's when temperatures will near 90 degrees. And then as well as on Saturday, we'll near 90, but the cloud cover will be delayed. I think we'll see the cloud cover in the afternoon. And the shower in our storm chance will arrive Saturday night into Sunday morning. Here's a look at low temperatures tonight. It will remain fairly mild as the cold front fizzles out 50 Grand Rapids, 52 Mount Pleasant, 56 in Grand Rapids. Notice near 60 degrees near I-94. Again, as that cold front slowly moves through, it's going to dwindle down. But tomorrow it'll really kick in in terms of uh, widespread temperatures in the low 80s. Very comfortable day with lots of sunshine and a northerly wind forest as well. So it's not going to feel very hot. It's going to be a very, very comfortable day. Those dew points in the 40s, it's going to feel like the lower 80s, if not the upper 70s. On Friday, that's when it'll feel like 90. Saturday might even feel like the low to mid 90s as well as that humidity continues to stream in. And then again, that rain chance arrives, breaking it down a little more ahead of the cold front. Notice it's mainly to the north and west of us as it moves down another system to our south. So it looks like Grand Rapids and parts of West Michigan Going to see the scattered chance for that rain chance. Again, not widespread showers or storms, but still the chance. Most of it looks to be after 9 p.m. Saturday and gone by just before noon on Sunday. And then we'll be seeing cooler temperatures. Notice upper 70s, lower 80s as we start the next work week, though more sunshine chance and another chance for rain in the middle of next week.